Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. What I'm here to do today is crack open this shiny new copy of Aurum from Pandasaurus Games. This is a two to four player trick-taking card game that I am really looking forward to checking out as I am a huge trick-taking card game fan. Being from Southwest Ontario, it's I grew up playing trick-taking games like Hearts, Spades, and Euchre. Now, this one sounds a lot like Spades because you're going to bid on how many tricks you're going to take, and that's about all I know about the game at this point. Now, I do have to thank Pandasaurus Games for sending us a review copy of this game. Now, I am excited to see what comes in the box, so let's crack this baby open and see what you get in Aurum. So, here you have my copy of Aurum. All I have done is crack the shrink. I'll give you a quick look at the box here. Here is the back. It doesn't say a lot. It kind of explains it's a trick-taking game. But it does list it, again, as two to four players. We're looking at a 30 to 45 minute game. It says ages 7+. plus. Again, this is from Pandasaurus. Here are the box edges, if you care. And let's take a look at what we get. So we have the rule book, which is coming off a little bright. Apologize for that. So the background here is you are alchemist who just discovered how to make gold. So look at we have a quick start guide. We have playing with four players, the setup for four players. Now this is a team game. One playing four players at the two uh, two teams of two. You have the rules for taking the tricks, and we're done. And now we are into scoring. And then we have playing with three players. So a totally separate set of rules for three players, which is appreciated that they're split up how to play and how to take the trick. And scoring, starting the next round, end of game, and then a summary of terms. So, and some reminders on the gold cards. Then we have need assistance, if you're missing it. So just some info. Want to learn more? Follow us. So some promotional materials from Pandasaurus, including showing off some of their other games. I'm really curious about this one. We're not going to go through all that. Okay, look at the shiny gold. I like it. You can see my webcam there being reflected. That's nice. And we also have a silica pack. Um, as I said many times, if you live somewhere humid, you might want to keep this with your game. We have a sun token, track who had the lead, and we have three chunks of gold. These are plastic, you know, aquarium bead, I guess you call them style pieces. They look pretty good. Got a nice, they're very light. That's what you can't really tell here. They're lighter than wooden pieces usually are. Then of course we have cards, because what else do you expect? Oh, interesting. They are, they are not playing card sized. They are longer, but they're not tarot sized either. They're just an, an irregular shape. My only concern with that might be to get card sleeves for them. But to be fair, I don't sleeve my cards. I prefer to play unprotected. Oh, look at how nice that was to open. You don't get that all the time. Props to Pandasaurus for that one. All right, we have scoring summaries for all four players with round overview on the back. So both how to play and scoring summary. Always appreciated. So we have the yellow suit, which goes a bunch of zeros. One, two, two, two ones, two twos, two threes, then four, five, six, seven, eight. These are, oh, interesting. There's like no back. Like this is, this is it with these. Fascinating. Okay. Okay. So some do say Orem. So I don't know. Maybe these are scoring cards or something. That threw me off completely. So yeah, yellow cards, which are two-sided. Bunch of zeros going all the way up to eight. Then we get into the actual suits of the game, which should go one through ten, from what I understand. Yes. So one through ten in a purple suit here. What I love here, little things. Card can be read just the same, upside down or back. The backs, of course, are, are has the words, so that doesn't matter. But I love it when you fan them, and you could fan them either way. Trust me, with the number of trick-taking games I've reviewed, this is not as common as you would expect. Greatly appreciated. So we have a blue suit, red suit, one white suit. Darker, I should have said purple suit, I guess. Blue suit, green suit. Other things to note here, nice clear symbols in case you have difficulty reading the colors, which are repeated in the corners where you'd find the suits. 
Great card design here. Very distinctive look. Unique look. I like it. It's got kind of almost an Art Deco thing going on here. Um, looks fantastic. Looking forward to checking this one out. So now I'm just going to put everything back into the box now that we've seen what's here. There we have the now resealed Aurum. All right. Bunch of cards. What do you expect? Five different suits, one through ten, and then a yellow suit. It only goes up to eight, but has multiples of the different cards, including four zeros, then two of a kind, up to one of a kind of each suit. I am really interested in checking this one out. Bunch of alchemists working together to try to complete potions, trying to turn your various metals into gold. And I have to assume that yellow is probably the gold you're trying to create, but I haven't played this yet. So again, that was Aurum. A look at the cards and what you get, the side of the box, everything you need to know to see what you get. Aurum from Pandasaurus Games. Now, once I do get this game to the table, I will be talking about it on social media, of course, because what gamer doesn't share what they're playing online? You can do that by following me pretty much everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, T-A-B-L-E-T-O-P-B-E-L-L-H-O-P. For those of you who don't know how to spell Tabletop Bellhop for some reason. Um, I will also eventually be doing up a review of this, which you'll be able to watch on YouTube here on our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. And you can read it over at the blog, tabletopbellhop.com. So look forward to that in the coming weeks. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video of Aurum from Pandasaurus Games.